and each one of whom has been found uh, as a hoax. And here we go. I hope you're hungry for nothing. Fox News alert. It's all a hoax. Let's figure out. So the left has been losing their minds about the whole migrant thing in Springfield, Al- uh, Alabama, Ohio. The Springfield bomb threats are a natural byproduct of MAGA's moral panic playbook. Republicans have disavowed at whatever lines existed between conservative movements and intellectual thought leaders and CD digital mudslingers. Ooh. Ohio GOP DeWine says at least 33 bomb threats prompt Springfield to begin daily school sweeps. So there have been apparent bomb threats in Ohio, in Springfield. And right now, the, the left is blaming Republicans for doing so. This hateful rhetoric about Haitian migrants and their people is disgusting and is creating this kind of narrative. Even the Miami Heat, an NBA team, put out a statement. The Miami Heat staff, like Miami itself, is a diverse and brilliant mix of vibrant cultures, including many members of the Haitian community. The false narrative surrounding them is hurtful and offensive, and sadly made innocent people targets of hateful speech and physical threats. Our Haitian employees, fans, and friends deserve better. And look, is that a little French? Oh, I can't even read it. That was my best. Everyone's freaking out. All these bomb threats. How could these bomb threats happen? Well, let's look into these bomb threats. Take it away, bomb threat man. At least 33 separate uh, bomb threats, each one of which uh, uh-huh. has been uh, responded to. Okay. And each one of whom has been found uh, as a hoax. So 33. What? They're all hoaxes? But I was told by by prominent news sources that it was, uh, uh, the right was doing that to me. I was was told that that they would never lie to me. Okay, one more time. Uh, responded to, mm-hmm. and each one of whom has been found uh, as a hoax. 33 uh, threats, 33 hoax. I want to make that very, very clear. Okay, hold on a second. Fox News alert. It's all a hoax. Who would have seen that coming? Me. I would have saw that coming. As somebody who constantly consumes news, there he is. I know that the media likes to make up entire narratives <laughs> that fit their own narrative in their brain. Right wing, bad, MAGA, bad. And therefore, we can say and do whatever we want. And maybe, just maybe, we'll put out a little apology two years later. Or maybe a month later. Or maybe a week later. Or maybe a two days later. But you'll forget about it. You'll forget it ever happened. These these MAGA right-wing extremists need to be stopped. Whether or not it's a hoax or not is not something we need to get into. The narrative has already been set. Because of right-wing rhetoric, bomb threats have been made on Ohio schools. Cut the music. I want to hear this one more time. Because it just, this is the kind of stuff that should just give you hope. It should give you hope. You can't watch something like this. Apparent threats. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Valerie. <laughs> apparent, apparent hoax. You can't watch stuff like this and still think the media is my friend. The media would never lie to me. They're my best friend, and they want what's best for me. But I want to hear this one more time, and you should hear this as well. Let's listen. Use your earballs. At least 33 separate uh, bomb threats. Mm-hmm each one of which okay. uh, has been uh, responded to. Okay, good. And each one of whom has been found uh, as a hoax. 
So 33 uh, threats, 33 hoax. I will make that very, very clear. You've None of these clear. had any validity uh, at all. Oh, shoot. Uh, we know uh, that people are very, very uh, concerned. Yeah. Uh, and we have taken some actions, and uh, in a moment I'll let uh, Andy Wilson go into more detail. I am also concerned about hoaxes. What? Uh, but we've moved resources uh, into into Springfield. So I want to say to the parents in Springfield, okay. uh, these hoaxes, have, these, these threats yeah. uh, have all been hoaxes. Okay, thank None you. None of them have panned out. Crap. Uh, we have people, uh, unfortunately, overseas uh, who are taking these actions. Uh, some of them are coming from one particular country. Um, we think that this is, uh, you know, one more opportunity to mess with the United States. And they're, they're continuing to do that. So. Emotional damage. Oh, okay. So everything I was told about the hoaxes was a lie. We don't want these fake bomb threats. Like Miami Heat has to put out this, this, this feel good factor. We're just putting it out statement saying no more hate speech for the Haitians. The stuff that's going around here is serial. The Springfield bomb threats are a natural byproduct of MAGA. God, MS, MSNBC, this is not even a fake headline that I posted. You're part of the problem. I'm sorry, MSNBC, that the bomb threats aren't real. And they're all hoaxes. In my uh, guesstimation is that a lot of these kids who know how to hide their IP address... And they know how to hide their phone numbers and maybe use a fake phone number to make a phone call or using these bomb threats to get out of school. Because no matter how much you pay teachers, school sucks. I love, I love like how serial these people are. Parents pick up their school, their children early from two elementary schools in Springfield, Ohio on Friday. In response to information received from local police, the school closures followed another early closure before Fulton Elementary School after it was named in a bomb threat. Inspired by social media rumors about the Haitian migrants. Oops, they're false and they're not real. Well, we're not going to change the story because it goes against the narrative because MAGA is making this happen. Not us on the left, we're good people. We're on the left. We're trying to save democracy. And these people are trying to take away democracy. The right is taking away democracy every day. It's not a joke, people. Democracy is on the line and will never, ever, ever get back together. He, he will never. <laughs> Uh, I just love that the bomb threat thing is fake. I feel like I want to hear it one more time. I'm sorry. It's just so good to me. It's like it's like food for the soul. At least 33 separate uh, bomb threats, each one of which uh, has been uh, responded to. Yes. And each one of whom has been found uh, as a hoax. Oh. So 33... Oh, no. Uh, threats, 33 Ooh. hoax. No. I will make that very, very clear. Oh, None of these no. had any validity uh, at all. And then if you go to Google and you type in, like, bomb, threat, hoax, Springfield, uh, Springfield, Ohio. Let's see, I did this earlier to look up to see, like, what was going on. And let's see how many people change their headlines. Um, none of them. Yeah, why would you change the headline on new information? That would be like telling the truth. No, we don't do that here. We would never do that. We'll never, ever, ever get back together. We. <laughs> what are your guys' 